Que Bazo boxing fans, this is Anna to do another boxing analysis. This analysis is a big, big fight. Uh, the second fight, the rematch between Brandon Bam Bam Rios, the Mexican American Guerrero, versus Mike Malha Alvarado, the boxer in this fight. Got the co forward guy in the boxer in this fight. Always a great style matchup. Um, both do good work with their jabs. Um, Brandon Rios has knocked down several people with his jab. Anthony Peterson for one, and Miguel Acosta throughout the fight for the second fight in the Um They both have great jabs. They both use pretty good movement. Uh, Brandon Rios doesn't like to do much movement. He can box. I've seen him do it. But he likes to sit there and trade. You know, he got that direct. He got, you know, the cojones. He likes to sit there and test his chin and test his power. Um, I see the same fight. If Mike Alvarado doesn't change his game plan and doesn't get, you know, a federal versus federal toe to toe type mentality and goes to boxing, he can win a 12 round decision easily with using side to side movement, fanning a little bit. While he's in that shoulder roll slash kind of Mayweather style guard with his left glove up and his right, um, you know, hand over his stomach, he's going to have to really pick his punch as well when he does it because Brandon's going to be looking for that and Brandon knows how to penetrate that. And Robert Garcia is a great, great, great trainer and he knows what he's doing, you know. And they're just a chain going combination together. I mean, it's just badass team. We put Robert Garcia and Brandon Rios together as a team when it comes to thinking in the ring. Uh, I'm just saying, Brandon Rios is one of my favorite fighters today. He's just got that, you know, he fights for fire and glory. He just, he really wants to be the best, and you can tell. That's why he's undefeated, you know, out of 32 fights. Um, he only had one draw, but he's 31 and 0. And I believe he had like, I think he's like 23 knockouts, which is great. That's a great record. And, um, you know, just trying to make a name for himself. And I think it's only right that he gave a rematch to Al Rado. That was, you know, cool of him to do that so we can really see if there was just a fluke. Because that's what Mike Al Rado said. It was just a fluke. He got caught with some big boom. But this is boxing. One punch can change the fight. And that overhand right of Brandon Reels can land again if Mike Al Rado doesn't move more. He needs to use feints. Uh, his keys to victory is his jab. Jabbing always can beat the come forward fighter. I mean, Richard Brill did it to me. I don't care. No, none of you say, go, go crazy in the inbox. And, you know, all my comments and say, oh, man, you know, you're just a hater. I'm not a hater, man. I'm just a realist. I, I mean, I see what I see. I call it how I see it. And I just felt that he got out box. But uh, Brandon Reels, like I said, he's going to work the body early. And that's what Mike Alvarado needs to do. You know, put some money in the bank. If you don't put any money in the bank, you're going to end up, you know, going bankrupt. And that means getting knocked the fuck out. Invest to the body. Don't just headhunt. You know, if you invest so much into one thing and then it goes broke, what are you going to do? You know, you have to invest in the body and the head. Body first. Stab to the body. Hit them with the jab to the body. Then come up top with overhand right or right hook. You're one of the few boxers in this sport. That's why I, I like you as a boxer. Throw the jab and then the right hook. Because Brandon Rios puts his hands up like this. And then when he leans down, after you throw that right hook, mix it up. Throw a right uppercut. Pop his head up several times with the left and right uppercut. Step around. Use ring generalship, you know, throughout the fight. Not just in spots, but throughout the fight. Like, way throughout the fight. You know, in the middle round, start moving them with your right glove. Move them to the side. Throw one, two. Move them to the side. That's boxing, people. This is not the fighting championships or what this is boxing championship or what. And uh, I would like to see Mike Alvarado do a new game plan. He's gonna uh, be in better shape, I feel, in this fight. You know, he has that. Uh, he's from Colorado, and in the mountains when they run, you get higher blood cell count than other places in America because it's so high elevation and it's, the air is really, really thin up there. And, it pretty much pushes you to work harder, your your body to work harder, and it produces those red blood cells. If you don't believe me, look it up. You know, type in Colorado mountains and running and just athletics in general, and you can figure it out. Um, but like I said, man, it's gonna be a great, great, great rematch. Can't wait to see it. Um, you know, Brandon Rios is undefeated. Got a lot to still prove in the sport as he feels, and he just wants to fight the best fights. I salute him for that. That's how you're supposed to do it. And uh, Mike Alvarado coming to make a statement. And uh, if if it goes 12 rounds, like I say, 
I say my like double bottles on throw more combinations. He has the longer reach, he's the bigger man. He's going uh you know, if he makes it for that means that he really outboxed him, you know, kept his hands up, blocked a lot of the punches, carried him really well and he implemented his game plan. He boxed on the perimeter. But you can still fight in a spot. Give the fans what they want, but don't give them too much. Don't spoil them with what you did in the first. And I think you got knocked out, was it the seventh round or eighth round? Correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was the seventh. You have to be smart. No, it might have been the ninth. I'm not sure. But it will be the same fight if he sits there and he tries to fight him throughout the fight. Toe to toe, my, you know, mano a mano, uh, you know, trying to be too macho. Don't do that. You can be more equated on the outside, on the perimeter. Jab, jab, double your jab, just triple your jab if you can. That's how you're going to keep the fight at a distance, bust real face up, maybe even close his eyes up, then you can work the body, maybe even get him out of there. Who knows in a late round stoppage. Brandon Real's condition is way, way, way too, just, just, just way too good. You know, muy, muy, muy bien. And I, I feel that nobody understands how much work he puts. This guy can go 15, 16 rounds without getting tired. You know, he's, he's old school when he works out, you know. Uh, you know, and uh, his, his, his stamina is always on point. So I just see if he doesn't, maybe, you know, invest into the body in this fight, you know, really put his money in the bank in the body, then I, I don't see Mike Alvarado winning this fight. You know, so that's what he's going to need to do. When Brandon comes in like this and he's trying to put his head on his chest and work combinations, that's what Mike Alvarado needs to be looking for, an opening and throwing left and right up. Because we know what Brandon's going to do. He's going to throw overhand rights all night long. He's going to be looking to counter a little bit. Um, he's going to be just looking to let his hands go and excite his fans, you know. And um, I just can't wait to see these two Mexican Guerrero school heads. Mexican American Guerrero school heads. So tell me what you think in the comment section below. Who do you think they should fight next at 140 pounds? Um, I know Brandon Rios and uh, Broner have been talking shit back and forth. I would love to see those two fights. Great style matchup. Uh, Mike Alvarado against anybody 140. Love to see it. But I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comment section below. Alright, until next time, peace. Like I said, Brandon Rios, 10th, 11th, or 9th round uh, uh, TKO. I don't think he's going to knock out Alvarado. It'll be a TKO again. Or it might be an early round stoppage if Mike Alvarado doesn't fully have his mind. We're going to see in those beginning rounds that Mike Alvarado have his mind fully, fully ready, you know, you know being ready for you, at least for, for the fight. So, uh, like I said, until next time, peace.